In April of 2024, I released video on a bunch of products from SM Light. This is a Ukrainian company that produces, or they are mostly known for their coordinators, but besides that, they also have additional products. So, what's new that it needs a new video? Well, actually, they did something that can help you even if you are not using SM Light products. Today, we are going to look at the SM Light Tech Web Flasher. We'll start in a couple of seconds. My first stick that I used for Zigbee was this one here, CC2531. And if you are unlucky one and didn't find a stick that was pre-flashed, you also needed to buy some kind of a debugger and a download cable. And yes, that's still the setup that I have, not that I'm using, but I still have it somewhere in my drawers. Update of the firmware for Texas Instrument Coordinator was really tedious, and it took some time, hardware, practice, and sometimes it failed. Because of that, I also had a bunch of those coordinators. I think I still have unpacked at least four or five in static bags, just to be safe if one fails, I can replace it with the other. But things have improved during the years. We now have tools that we can run straight from the command prompt. There are also some add-ons for Home Assistant. And the collection of the flashers has been expanded, and we now have a new tool from the SM Light Tech. SM Light Tech has released the Flasher, Web Flasher tool that allows you to flash not just the coordinators. You can flash the SLZB series of the Ethernet connected coordinators, SLZB07, which are the USB, SLZB07 P7 and 07 P10. But besides that, you can also flash other coordinators that are based on either CC1352 or CC2652 series of the chips. What makes it a bit different than the others, they also included the flasher for two additional products they have. SLWF03, which is WLED sound reactive controller, and also SLWF01 Pro, and if I'm not mistaken, that is the AC controller, which I still haven't tested or seen. So let's get cracking with what we need to do. Actually, you do not have to do anything besides have access to either the Ethernet device, that you can then plug via the USB, or the USB stick, and we will need to stick it inside our PC. So what you have to do? Click on the series of device that you want to update, connect it via the USB cable, Select the version of the firmware you want to flash and click on flash. In the list of serial ports that are connected, select the one that matches your device. In my case, this is CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller on COM10. Click on connect and you can either look at the logs and console or click to install the firmware. It will warn you that all the data on the device will be erased. Click on install. The web flasher will first delete everything and then we'll proceed with the installation of the latest firmware. Remember that since this is a web flasher, you must remain on the same page. This will prevent either the process of idling or slowing down. And this is it, the newest firmware is now installed. Click on next, and now we can check the logs and console. And that's it. Now we can use this coordinator with the latest firmware. Besides flashing the SLZB06 series, and also SLZB07 series, we can also try and flash some other devices, for example, this Sonoff dongle P. If I'm not mistaken, it is using CC2652 related chip or SOC. So let's try it. Select other device, update other CC firmware, select dongle, in this case Sonoff dongle 3.0, dongle plus, click connect. You will be presented with the option to upload your own firmware. And you can do so by going to, for example, Zigbee2MQTT repository, GitHub repository, and there you have a lot of firmwares for different sticks. You would need just to download to your PC, click on upload, select the file, and then click install to install it. Besides that, I also flashed one other device, the other device that I have from the SM Light Tech, and that is the SLWF-03. You have option to install either the version 0.14 or 0.13.3 firmware. I decided to go with the 0.14.0 and the procedure is same. I plug the USB cable to PC, plug it into the device, clicked on flash SLW firmware, selected firmware from the list, 
confirm that I'm aware that I will be erasing everything and continue with the flashing procedure. It does take some time for the flashing to finish, but after it was finished, the device was working with the latest version of the firmware. So why would you use this and not use some other tools? It's so up to you, but you have to remember one thing. For example, this WLED controller, after I've updated or flashed the latest firmware, it deleted all of the settings, the Wi-Fi configuration, all the presets, and everything that was configured previously on that device was permanently deleted, so I had to reconfigure it once again. In terms of the Sonoff USB controller and also SLZB controllers that I flashed, I didn't lose anything, but that's just because all devices were previously factory reset. Remember that before you flash any of those devices, you should take a backup. You can do so in either ZHA or also Zigbee to MQTT. And also this goes for the WLED. You can make a backup of the configuration and after you are done, you can just reload it or restore from the backup. The difference between other either command line tools, web tools or add-ons and this web flasher is that this one from SM Lite or SM Lite Tech knows exactly what each of those devices needs. So it is customized to work with the SM Lite Tech devices. The thing that I do not like about this flasher instead of using for example OTA upgrade for the WLED or OTA update on the device themselves is that you are losing settings. But nevertheless, it's really awesome to see that now you can flash SM Lite Tech devices directly from the web interface. The only thing that you of course need is access to the device locally to plug it in the PC where you want to perform this flashing. And this is it for this some very short video. I hope that you did find it interesting. If you did find it interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And also, if you have any kind of a comment or a question on this web flasher or similar web flashers on devices that you're using, etc., etc., you can always leave them down in a comment section below. And before I wrap up the video, I would like to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, shared or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then. Bye-bye and have fun.